Last week I gave you a graceful combination with a variety of arabesques and I said that I'd give you another one this week and then we'd put the two together. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get going. Now if you didn't see last week's combination, it doesn't matter at all. I'll put a link to it down there anyway. But this combination I'm going to teach you today is a great standalone one. It works absolutely beautifully on its own. It's just that you can add it to the previous one and then you get a really nice 32 count combination. And a 32 count combination fits beautifully over a whole verse or chorus of a song typically or a section of emergency. So it's a really useful thing to have. We finished last week with all the weight on the right foot and facing the left diagonal. You could, of course, just be starting facing the audience. You could be anywhere. But let's go from this position that we were in. So we were here and the arms were here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing two reverse arabesques. Yeah, I'll show you the technique in a sec, but I'm going, I've got my weight on my front foot, which is my right foot, and I'm going to put my weight down onto my left foot. My right foot's going to come round into it, and then I do an undulation, and then it comes round again. So this is what I think of as a redder style arabesque. I go back, yeah, and this leg does what we call a rond de jambe. It does a circle from the front around to the back. I'm up on relevé. I'll probably hang on to my bar in a second to do it slowly. In fact, I'll do that now. So as I say, I had my weight forward on this front leg. I'm going to go back onto my left leg. I always push down through the floor when I do that. That gives me strength. At the same time as I push down through the floor, you can see as I'm up on relevé, I'm just on the ball of my foot here. And at the same time, I pull up through my core here. Um, and yeah, just turn around so you can see me. So I'm pulling up through the core, all the way up through my abs, through my middle abs, keeping my rib cage nice and, um, and strong. I don't let my rib cage splay because that weakens me here and gives me a massive banana back. So I'm pulling in here and that keeps me very, very strong and stable. So my right arm comes up as this leg comes round and then I end up with an undulation. So. Back, undulate. I'm going to do another one. Back, and I start to undulate, but instead I'm going to pull up on my left leg and I'm going to extend the right leg forward. So I'm just going to hang on to the bar here um, because I'm going to do it slowly for you. So I'm going back onto my left leg, pushing down. This right leg comes up, pointing the toe, of course. The knee is always pointing um, upwards. I don't let that just come forwards like this. And that opens out the pelvis. I take my right foot behind, undulation. Yeah. Then I push down on the right leg, the left one comes round, and I put it down, and instead of doing another step forward, I extend this leg forward, pointing the toe, of course, and we're here. The arms go. So my arm was, my right arm was here. I'm going to take my right arm up into this position, my palm facing inwards. Here we go. And another one. And when I point my toe, I'm just going to turn that palm downwards just to kind of frame or um, sort of highlight that extended foot. So here we are. You've just done one, two, I've now got my right foot extended and I'm up on relevé. I'm going to do a twist, cross and cross, and then into an arabesque. Yeah, so rather than doing step, step arabesque, I'm doing twist and twist arabesque. That's a new one. Haven't taught that one yet. Made that up when I created this combination. It's a variation of a classic arabesque, but we're just doing a different run up to it. Yep. So, as I do my twist, I'm going to, particularly if, I've, if I can hear a little bit of drumming going on in the background in my music, a little bit of TikToks in my music, I'm going to do hagala hips, twist and twist. Or you could call it three-quarter shimmy hips, or 
Egyptian war capes or whatever, but it's a twist and a twist arabesque. Now, as I said in the previous videos, oh, I've done three other ones, so check them out. The first one is um, arabesque technique, good arabesque technique. I'm just going to refer to this in a second. The second one is variations on arabesque, so I teach you the reverse arabesque and the sideways arabesque and things like that. Um, and arabesques with a veil, and then last week's lesson was the first combination out of these two combos. Now, when I was teaching the, um, the good technique, one of the things that I made like, go, I go on about for all the time is the importance of doing your turn, because an arabesque always has a turn on it, of a normal arabesque, of sort of forward arabesque. When you do that turn, it's really important that you turn from the core, yeah? Not by, by hiking your leg around. You don't want to be just using your leg to bring you around, yeah? So you turn from here, from the sort of lower abdomen. So strengthening that psoas muscle and the lower abs, and that will bring you around. Particularly if you're up on your toes, you're up, 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 up on the ball of your foot, if you're on carpet, then that's going to make you stick a little bit. Um, so, yeah, best to be doing this on a wooden floor or, or, or something like that. But obviously, if you're on stage, you're not likely to be on carpet. So, where were we? We've just done here, twist and twist arabesque. I'm going to lift this right arm up because I naturally do that as I go into an arabesque. And then I'm going to do a step on the left foot. This right arm's going to come around, down, a step on the right foot, and then I'm going to turn around towards my right arm. And there. So let's not worry too much about the arms in the, at the moment, but the feet are going. I'm in my arabesque. I go left foot, right foot. I'm starting to turn around to my right, left foot, and I will talk about your final position in a second. Let's just do all those bits so far. So we are here. I'm going back, the right arm. So the same arm is working as the leg that's working. So it's my right arm, my right leg. On, two, undulate. On, two, and extend. Woo! Actually, you could have the palm up. That's rather nice as well. Extend. Cross and cross, arabesque, step, step, turn round to finish. I'm using, again, redder arms. When I say redder, I mean Mahmoud Redder, who's a very, very famous choreography, choreographer who sadly passed away, but an enormous um, influence um, on particularly folkloric style um, Egyptian dancing. Um, and he did, I tend to associate this move with him, rightly or wrongly, that's just one that, you know, when I took a lesson with him, he was doing these, these moves. Um, and the other thing is, I don't know why, but I tend to associate these, this arm pattern with him as well. As I turn to my right, my following arm, so that's my left arm, is going to come across and out. My leading arm, which is my right arm, is going to come out and in. So I'm going cross and up, yeah? Cross and that way, yeah? So we go, not arabesque, left, right. Left arm comes up, right arm comes up, and I'm finished. I will show you that finish as I promised. Now, what you decide to do for your very, very last beat, your last count, depends entirely on what you're going to be doing next, because this is the end of a whole section of dancing. Either this little 16 count combination, or if you put it together with the previous one, a nice big meaty 32 count combination, which will fit into any piece of music pretty much um, Egyptian or Arabic style music. It's different with Turkish, there's different rhythms. But um, 32 count combination will typically be a verse 
or a chorus of a song or a section of Magency. So creating 32 count combinations is an incredibly valuable thing to do, a really useful thing to do. And I've got a whole video on the beauty of a 32 count combination. So you can check that out. In fact, I will pop that up here and um, you can check that out if you want to. It explains all about how, how useful a 32 count combination is. And I teach a combination and then we drill it through to different pieces of music. Okay, let's go all the way. Oh yes, sorry, your last count. So I've turned around. Now, I can either put my right foot down at the end of it, in which case I will go off on the left. So the next thing I do will be starting on the left foot. If I want to start on the right foot, I don't put that right foot down at the end. I just extend it and get ready to go on the one of the next count, the next section. So I'm arabesquing round, left, right, turn. If I just extend this right foot, I'm ready to go one, two, and whatever I'm gonna do, yeah? If I wanna go off on the left, I'm going here, step, round and put this right foot down, then I'm ready to go off on the left somewhere. Or I can just finish up on releve in, if I want to do something like a heel drop or I just want to stay absolutely still. So arabesque, step, step, round, up, and then you can do whatever it is that you want next. Okay, let's Go all the way through once, then we'll drill it through, then we'll add it to last week's combo. We're here, and back, undulate, back, and extend, cross, and cross, arabesque, step, step, and you go. Let's put on some music. Drill it through. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, extend. Cross and cross arabesque. Step, step, turn around. Five, six, seven, eight. Arabesque, undulate. Arabesque and extend. Cross and cross arabesque, left, right, turn around. One last time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, extend. Cross and cross arabesque, left, right, turn around. Let's add it to last week's. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, arabesque. One, two, three, circle, circle, and circle. Lift down and change. Going back and back and up. Cross and cross. Round one, two. Woo. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Enjoyed that. I'm going to put the links to the other lessons below and they'll probably come off as cards at the end here as well. Um, so you can check them out and obviously learn the first part of this combination, put the two together. As always, please feel free to use it, teach it, enjoy it I hope. See you next week.